Welcome to Relativity's Engineering Department Overview. I'm joined today with one of our managers of engineering, Namit Dua. Namit will help us understand what it takes to be a successful engineer at Relativity and some of the experiences he seeks when hiring new engineers. Before we get into the specifics about engineering, let's discuss Relativity's offerings in e-discovery and compliance. Our motto is organize data, discover the truth, and act on it. So what the heck is e-discovery? Well, e-discovery is the process in legal proceedings such as litigation, government investigations, or Freedom of Information Act requests, where the information sought is in electronic format. Relativity's platform helps legal teams solve complex data problems. Relativity offers end-to-end e-discovery solutions helping law firms, corporations, and government agencies. We also have a, a robust monitoring tool called Trace, and this, this uh, monitors all communications in real time and alerts compliance officers to suspicious content. And then that way, if there is any suspicious content, all that can plug into our e-discovery platform to build any kind of case that would need to be put up. Now that we have an understanding of e-discovery, let's find out about the backbone of our company, the engineering teams. Now, tell us a little bit about yourself and your role at Relativity. Hey, Brennan. Um, as you said, my name is Namit. I'm an engineering manager for uh, two managing two teams in a vertical called processing. And processing is on the left side of e-discovery, or to be more specific, it's uh, responsible for processing hundreds and hundreds of different file types, terabytes of data at the fastest pace possible. What we do is we process these files and extract contents out of it and move it into relativity for applying machine learning and uh, for indexing so that it can be easy for lawyers and litigation experts to review the documents. Awesome. Thanks for that overview. And what type of engineers are on your teams and what type of technology are they using? Absolutely. For, uh, for right now, we have from all the way from lead engineers to fresh college grads and interns. And each team is built of full stack scrum teams and responsible for the product they own. Each team member delves into all type of technologies from front end like TypeScript, JavaScript, uh, Karma, Angular, Jasmine. And for the back end side, we deal with C Sharp, C++ to SQL. Also important part is we manage automation using Jenkins and our SaaS product deployment strategies as well, which is currently hosted in, hosted in Azure. Awesome, well, it sounds like you have some really smart people on your team. Tell me something cool about your team or your department and what excites you about your work? Yes, uh, for us being a customer facing team, I think that the biggest satisfaction and the, or one something which excites us most is knowing that we have solved a customer problem things which are bothering them or the problems they want to solve. And we have built solutions which makes their life easy. That is the biggest immense satisfaction. Besides that, as I mentioned, we are in the business of data and we are business of processing data at the fastest speed possible. And we love to raise the bar. We love to process more and more data at the fastest speed possible. And challenges of scalability and more and more volume coming in is something we are always excited about. Awesome, very cool. Thanks for giving us some, some great insight. Um, last question for you. If I was an inspiring engineer and wanted to work at Relativity, what would you recommend? And are there certain technology trends I should study? Uh, what type of programming languages should I know? Yeah, that's a really good question. If you're applying here, I would really recommend focus on object-oriented programming languages such as Java or C Sharp. These are very essential for us. Build skills which are not only for writing good code, but also writing good testable production ready code. You should know more about metrics. You should know how to manage a SaaS product. For, we look for full stack engineers with the T-shaped skills. And what that really means is that you, it's okay to be really good at one thing, but you should be able to learn new things and work towards the team end goal to meet whatever they're, what's on in front of them. You should be a problem solver. Besides the tech part, I also recommend some of the non-tech uh, aspects, which is you should be able to learn fast. Uh, you should be able to understand new tools and technologies, understand what it means to really build a SaaS product. You should have super strong CS fundamentals, accent collaboration, and last but not the least, you should be self-motivator and constantly drive for making the process, the process and product better and raising the bar for the rest of us. That was great, Naman. Thank you. And thanks again for, for sitting down with me. This has been tremendously helpful, and I hope everyone watching uh, this has been helpful as well. Um, if you're interested in engineering roles at Relativity, uh, please visit our career page 
or you can reach out directly to me uh, at LinkedIn. Uh, again, my name is Brendan McLaughlin, um, or you can also just apply for any role that, that looks of interest on our career page. Thank you. Thank you, Brendan.